guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do another Everlane haul. I ended up picking up quite a few pieces, mainly bottoms and pants. Interestingly enough, I only realized that after I got the package, but I got a lot of things that I thought would be really great for the springtime. So if you are interested in seeing that, then just keep watching. All right, so the first item I'll talk about is the item that I'm wearing right now. And this is their Japanese Go Weave Light Square shirt. I got it in a size two and this is the color bay leaf which is such a beautiful olive green color. I absolutely love this color especially on my skin tone. This piece retails for $78 and it definitely is what it says it is a square shirt. It is quite a wide shirt. Definitely pretty boxy but it does drape really nicely on the body. It's a button down shirt. has the collar over here and this fabric is so interesting. It's their Japanese go weave material material, which is one of their proprietary fabrics that they do. And it's really difficult to say what it feels like. It's kind of silky, kind of satiny, but not too slippery. It seems like it would resist wrinkles pretty well. There are some wrinkles on it because I haven't ironed it since it came out of the packaging, but it has a really nice sheen to it. And I'm really, really liking it. It feels really cool on the body as well. So that's why I think it would be wonderful for springtime, summertime, warmer months. And you could definitely wear this just very casually with some shorts, even as a cover up if you wanted to, because it is a button down. I love wearing button down t-shirts, long shirts as bathing suit cover ups, but it is professional looking enough to wear in a business casual environment. In my opinion, I think it looks very respectable. It can be pretty conservative, especially if you button it up quite a bit. Overall, I think that this is a really cute and unique take on a classic button down shirt. Okay, so the next item that I have for you guys is probably my favorite item from this entire haul because they fit so amazingly well. And it is the original cheeky jean. These are in the color classic blue with a raw hem. And I got them in a size 25 ankle. They have a really nice subtle whiskering and fading along the jean and are really nice, just classic blue color, kind of medium, medium light denim, which I absolutely love. I think it works so well on so many different occasions. These are a high rise, a low stretch, but they do still have a little bit of a stretch in them. And that is because they are 98% cotton and 2% elastane. Like it says in the colorway, these are a raw hem. They have just a little bit of fraying going on. I'm not usually one to go for a raw hem, but I love the color of the jeans overall. And I actually don't mind the hem on these ones. I think they're pretty cute. And what you could always do to prevent hems from becoming even more frayed is just ask your seamstress or you can do it yourself to put a little little tiny invisible hem to keep it from fraying even more. I do that actually pretty often on a lot of my unhemmed denim shorts but these are just such a nice fit on the body. They're a really great everyday pair of jeans in my opinion. They're comfortable, they're high rise. I think they look really flattering as well and I love the opening width on the bottom of the jean. I think it makes the legs look really nice but overall, these are a win in my book. All right, the next item that I have for you guys is the Organic Cotton Crew Neck Sweater. This one here is in the color marble and it's in the size small. This retails for $50 and it is made of 100% organic cotton. I absolutely love the color of this sweater. It's a really nice, basically oatmeal color, I would say. Very nice neutral color. And this is just your classic crew neck sweater silhouette wet. Really nothing super special about it, but what I love is that it is 100% cotton. Living in a warmer climate, especially coming up to the summer months, cotton is the way to go. Yes, some evenings can get a little bit cooler, but I feel like wool and cashmere is just a little bit too warm for this time of the year. And personally, I am really sensitive to natural fibers like wool and cashmere, alpaca. Any type of hair really gets me very sensitive and itchy. So that's what I love about cotton because because obviously there's gonna be no itchiness. And once again, it is super breathable and great for the warmer months. This obviously you can just wear it on its own, tucked into some denim shorts or into some jeans. But what's also really popular is wearing this around the shoulders, kind of 
of like this. I feel like this is such a cute look as well and really, really popular right now. And this is the perfect sweater to do that with. Okay, next I have another pair of jeans to show you. And this is the 90s cheeky jean. These are a high rise, no stretch fabric. I got these in a size 25 regular. So these are a little bit longer on me than the ankle ones that I previously showed you guys, but they're not too long in my opinion. These definitely are no stretch. They are 100% organic cotton and definitely feel like a really rugged, almost Levi's-esque kind of jean. I like the fit of these. I will say that they are a little bit tighter on the waist than the other ones. I probably should be a size 26 when going for zero stretch denim, but I could get these on. They're just definitely a bit more snug than the original cheekies. These are in vintage sun bleached blue and they retail for $78. I think if you are looking for a classic vintage style pair of jeans, 90s s that this is exactly what you would be looking for. It does also have the button fly closure. It has four buttons and it is high rise as well. All right, the next piece that I picked up is a little bit more of a unique piece. I went a little bit out on a limb when purchasing this, but it is the easy short. And these are high rise, super, super comfortable. They have a stretchy waistband and pockets on the sides as well as one pocket on the back. These are in the color canvas. I'm not crazy about the color. I do think it looks nice when pairing it with a white top, but I do think the color looks a little bit too beigey in my opinion, kind of like a bed sheet. I don't know. I'm a little bit conflicted about these shorts. I do think that they're very comfortable on, but I just don't know how much I'm going to be wearing them. So I might end up returning them. But as you can see from the cutaways, they do fit very well. They're a nice length and they are high rise, which is really nice, especially for throwing on top of bathing suits in the summertime. I think that this is a really nice short for a cover up. I got these in a size size two and they retail for $45. So along the same vein as those shorts, I also purchased the Easy Pant, which is essentially the same exact thing, but super long, very wide leg pant. Also in that same canvas color, and I got these in a size two as well. Both the Easy Short and the Easy Pant, by the way, are 98% cotton and 2% elastane, so they are very comfortable. They definitely have a little bit of give to them, and of course this elasticated waistband makes it super easy to pull them on and off. These are also high-waisted. They are super wide, however, and again, I just don't know if this is really my style. I wanted to give it a shot to see if I could wear it as a beach cover-up, but I think it might just be a little bit too much fabric and not enough shape on me. Let me know down in the comments. Do you like these styles? I'm very interested in the very minimal waistband kind of pants and shorts look. I just don't know if Everlane hit the nail on the head with these ones. Similar to the shorts, however, they do have pockets on on both sides and then these ones actually have two larger pockets on the back as opposed to just a little slit on one of the butts and these ones retail for $60 okay next I picked up one of their organic cotton box cut t-shirts this is just a classic crew neck white t-shirt I love a good white t-shirt I got this in a size medium and this retails for $18 it is 100% organic cotton as well you, I can't really say anything bad about this it's affordable. It's good quality. I like the fit of it. I probably could have sized down to a small, but sometimes Everlane items can be a little bit small, especially after you wash and dry it. So that's why I opted for a size medium, but I still have no complaints. It's comfortable. It's cute. It's classic. You can't go wrong. Okay, on to more pants. The last three items that I have to show you guys are all pants. Again, I kind of went overboard, I think, with the pants, but anyway, here we go. These are the straight leg crop pants in the color sandstone, and I got them in a size two, regular size. I did not get the ankle length. These are definitely a high rise pants, but I will say that I thought that these would be a little bit more of a cottony pant material as opposed to a denim feeling material. These definitely look and feel kind of like denim. However, they are pretty wide and they do maintain their structure like a pant. And they also have different pockets than your typical denim pockets.
pockets. They just have these straight pockets as opposed to the ones that kind of curve like typical denim. On the back of the pants, they have two pockets as well that go straight across. And these, I don't think that they look bad on, but I don't think I'm gonna get too much wear out of them. I did think they were going to be quite a bit lighter on, but they're a bit thicker and I think I would be a little too hot in these. Living in Florida in the summertime, if you live somewhere else up north in the summertime, these might be really good for you actually because I know it can still get a little bit cool in the evenings, but I'm probably gonna return these again. I don't see myself wearing them a whole lot. And I have to say the color, I kind of wish they had white available. They probably did and it was sold out because I would have definitely purchased that one instead. But this kind of reminds me of a khaki that my grandfather would have worn. Looks great on him. Not crazy about the color on me, but it is definitely a nice neutral look if you are going for the neutral on neutral on neutral kind of style where, you know, you can wear this with a white t-shirt and maybe that oatmeal colored sweater on top. It definitely all falls in the same color family. And these retail for $68. All right, the next pair of jeans that I purchased is one of their newest pair of jeans and it is called the Way High Jean. And it is called the Way High Jean because the rise is super, super high. I got these in a size 25 and in the color Distressed. Although they're not super distressed, they do have a little bit of distressing and I guess they are a raw hem, but they don't have humongous holes throughout the jeans. These are a low stretch jean and they do have a zip fly closure. I think these jeans fit me really well on the waist area and the butt area, but I think they're just a little bit too wide for my taste along the legs. They're definitely a structured wide leg, almost like bowing out a little bit. If you really like the Levi's ribcage jeans, especially in the straight style, I think that you'll love these. I have a feeling that's why Everlane created these to kind of mimic the Levi's ribcage jeans, but these are made out of 98% cotton and 2% elastane. I will say, however, they're not not super stretchy. They feel a little less stretchy than the first pair of jeans I showed you guys, the cheeky ones. They're not quite as comfortable. That also could be because they are even higher rise, but I do love the high rise. I wish that all high rise jeans were this high rise off the bat, but I'm interested in seeing Everlane come out with more designs and styles within the way high jean line that they've come out with. And these retail for $88. Okay, and the last item that I have to show you guys is another pair of the Way High jeans, but these are in a different color and a different size than the previous pair. So these are in the color Flax, and I got these ones in a size 26. I wanted to compare and contrast the different sizes because I do fit in both 25 and 26s. 26s tend to be a little bit more comfortable for me, but maybe not quite as flattering because they don't hug me in all the same places that 25s do. But these ones, they were comfortable enough like I said though with the previous way high jeans I'm not crazy about how wide along the legs these are and I have to say I'm not crazy about the color yet again I kind of wish they were just an off-white color or a true white color looks a little bit dated but if you like this color and you want to do again a very monochrome neutral kind of look these could be great for you these are definitely a little bit more roomy and comfortable for me than the 25s but I do think that I fit fine in both of them it's just a matter of do I want it to look a little bit more snug along the legs or do I not mind the really baggy straight leg look. But that's all that I have for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me and my channel out and consider subscribing down below. I'm really trying to push to 1000 subscribers. We are almost there and I would really, really appreciate it if you guys join the family and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.